this set right here was the best choice LEGO has ever made. And the set I'm talking about is The Village. The Village is an amazing set that came out in 2016 and I'm going to tell you why it's the best set that LEGO ever made and why it's the best decision they made in this video. So first of all, what's in The Village? You have lots of different minifigures, lots of exclusive minifigures, you have some really cool buildings, a fully complete set. I'm in fact doing it and building it myself out of my own bricks right now for 2.5k. Thank you so, all so much for that milestone. And yes, go watch that video when it comes out because it's going to be insane. So this set, as I said, is huge. 1600 pieces. It's quite a beast in the Lego Minecraft world. And it just was really well done. And this is why it's the best choice that Lego ever made. Basically, LEGO Minecraft, even before that, was made mainly up of small sets. Small little play sets that could be built in around half an hour, such as the farm, the cave, the first night, things like that. And then, in 2016, they decided, you know what, we're going to make something really big. We're going to make a set with over a thousand pieces that will actually challenge people when they build it. So they made the village. And this set really blew people away. Lego Minecraft having a larger set was unheard of at the time and the fact that it had 1600 pieces that was actually quite a large set when it was first made and well it was quite a challenging build not the most challenging compared to some other sets with over a thousand pieces because of course it's Lego Minecraft but for the target audience you'd actually get a bit of challenge out of it and it could take a few hours to build and then they also included minifigures of course, one of the coolest parts about LEGO Minecraft is its minifigure selection because, well, you have so many different things in it and so many exclusive things that you won't find in any other theme. Just because of the way Minecraft is with the square heads and everything, you want to have at least one of them because of how cool it is to have. And in this set, they decided to put loads, I mean loads of minifigures. They had Alex, Steve, a creeper, an iron golem, villagers, everything you'd want from a village set. And that meant that if you just bought this set, you pretty much have a collection as it is because a lot of other sets only had three or four minifigures in at that time. And then what makes it better is that instead of making it so like the back of them was open to add play features, they made it so you could make it fully displayable while having play features. Basically, the village houses could open up if you wanted them and then you could look inside their back. And with the blacksmith, it was super creative what they did. They did it so you could lift the roof off, as in like curve it over. So they used a bit of Technic stuff to make it so you could look inside and still make it feel like it's a complete set. That is super smart and they really made sure that this set felt complete and not like you're missing bits, which is awesome. And of course, that was something that has Lego's been struggling recently with, trying to make a set feel finished. Some of them just don't feel like they're finished. They feel like they just stop in the middle of whatever. And it's just a little bit annoying. But I think what they did here was perfect. And the choice Lego made was amazing because it made it so people actually respected the Lego Minecraft theme a bit more. They saw that they were actually putting a bit of work into it. And they were making it so people would make it more popular because you'd think, oh my gosh, look at the sets that they're making. I'm going to see what this theme has to offer. And also, it kind of made it so we had a bit more trust in LEGO because right now they're not making any larger sets. They're not taking any risks and it's just really annoying. But back then, the, the fact that they made that is pretty cool. And that made it so people love this theme even more. And that was why this set was the best choice for Lego. So that was why that set was the best choice for Lego. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe up there. There's another video down there. Really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time.